you will not believe what physics principle makes balls curve. <laughs> I'm sorry about that obnoxious intro, but this is video is about the Magnus effect and why okay. soccer balls curve. So to create an inside curve on the ball, the ball is struck with the right foot on the lower right side of the ball, giving the ball velocity forward and counterclockwise spin. Since the ball moves in the forward direction, air moves across it in the opposite direction. Due to friction between the air and ball, spin creates a thin boundary layer of air, among which the air is dragged in the same direction as the ball's spin. This is important because as air particles approach the ball on the left side, particles are accelerated and deflected rightward, while particles on the right side are slowed down and remain straight. Since the ball slash boundary layer system pushes air to the right, the air pushes the ball equally and oppositely to the left. In other terms, the faster moving air particles on the left side of the ball create a low pressure area, while the right side of the ball causes air particles to deaccelerate and cause a high pressure area. These pressure differences are significant enough to impart a force on the ball perpendicular to its axis of rotation. This force is the Magnus force and it results in a leftward curve of the ball. This curve is known as the Magnus effect. In the following videos will show you some of the shots you can achieve with the Magnus effect.